I did much more virtual events uh, instead of in-person events. I launched a book, which I would have done anyway, um, virtually or you know, not having to work at home. And yeah. it, so that didn't change too much. Uh, my teaching, I do virtual, uh, so that didn't change too much. I think my situation didn't change as much as most people's because I do We're so many things. Virtual, yes. Yeah, I've, I'm the Miss Virtual as it begin, you know, to begin with. I mean, I had people from Zoom and people on my show years you know, ago because I was loved all this stuff. Uh, and so I'm glad that they're doing well, not for this reason, but, you know, I think that, you know, I think, but I think for so much of my speaking that changed the most and, and, you know, because everything has to be virtual. And I think the speaking, um, it's tough because like the month that they closed down New York, I was there right before that shooting videos for Verizon and, you know, flying in for a one hour shoot. Now that stuff doesn't happen anymore, you know, <laughs> so. And, and people are saying, I just read something that said, don't look for it again because companies are not spending that kind of money. Their, their, their budgets are being assigned to other things and, and, and whatnot. Um, for me, I really, really, really missed doing live television. I oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't do that now with you and I both did the one here in town. I miss doing that. Well, that that has gone by the wayside too. I know. Because um, now that now these uh, networks are not doing so well, and it's going to be pay to play for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I miss I miss from New York uh, live audiences. I miss oh, yeah. that terribly. I I there was nothing like watching the faces right in front of you of these people and seeing them with their epiphanies and they open up as flowers and you know that you pressed that button and you you provided that opportunity for them and i miss that a lot that doesn't exist yeah. here live audiences do not exist here well, even the speaking live audiences don't exist right they now. So it's the same kind of feeling for the speaking. That's, that's exactly mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't exist. And I don't know when that's going to happen again. Maybe a little bit here, a little bit there eventually. But I'm not sure it's ever going to come back the way it has because uh, the companies have found alternatives to motivating their people, or so they think until the next new shiny object comes near them. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I took the time. I, first of all, I think I was in shock for the first six months. I, I, I just, I didn't know what was going yeah. on. But, but when I saw that this is a thing of, of current life now, um, I knew I had to write the book that I wrote. And it was interesting because it was all stimulated by you in particular, who suggested that I, I speak to the person from that online company in Europe. And oh, yeah. I did, and she was interested in my doing this course. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, you know, while I'm waiting around for her, and she was dragging her feet, dragging her feet, dragging her feet about getting back to me, and I said, while I'm waiting, I might as well put everything together for the course. And that's how it started. Yeah. But you see, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. That which you set out to do originally Might ends amazing. up as an yeah. entirely different thing later on. Now, will this woman ever come back? Who knows if they're even in business? I don't know. Oh, no, they are. My course is doing well there. But... Oh, yeah? Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> Yeah. I haven't heard from her. I don't know if they're adding new courses on right now because who is? Who's got the money to do that? Well, who's you know? got, yeah, but it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. now I have this book and I'm talking to people about using the book for their, for their company's purposes or their organization's purposes. And it's taking on a whole new lifespan. So who knows? Now I'm, I'm thinking about a second book, a second, uh, the 19th oh, uh, book that I've mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm thinking about writing another book 
and I've started jotting down some things. Um, who knows what that will do? I mean, how, I, to, how to survive hiking with your friend in, in Prescott, Arizona? Is that, well, the that was, oh my, <laughs> how you put up with me? You know, we had fun. That was fun, wasn't it? That was the best. You know, when I got started, I my eyes were much bigger than my ability. I think that's a tough hike. I give you credit. Oh, that's that's the hike we're going to do. I said, no problem. <laughs> and every ten steps, I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> you and Bob kept saying, "Whoa, we can go back. We can go." Back. I said, "No way." So, Are you sure? I never followed up with you. What? No, oh, the day after, uh -huh. my, my calves were hurting. Oh, so, really? So I. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Then you're in shape. Then. Well, so I put them on the vibration machine that I have. Yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. And I put them on that and then that, that went away. So uh -huh. I, I was, I guess I was in better shape than we even thought, but I had never hiked before. <laughs> Not like that. So when I said to you, oh, you see that hike over in ASU? You said, <laughs> you are crazy. That's a real hike. And I said, Oh no, that looks paved. That doesn't look like there's rocks or anything. Paved is okay, but straight up is another story. <laughs> so when are we going? We'll have to do it. Now tell me, are you going to write a book about hiking or what? what's your, <laughs> <laughs> what's your next book? Is a follow-up to Spooky? Well, <laughs> I can't tell you. Oh, okay. Because it's, on the air. it's, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a hint. Okay. It's very steamy. Ah, <laughs> it's like nothing I've ever done before. Is it like Fifty Shades of Grey, Steamy? Yes, but well written. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've never read that, but I heard it was not well written. Well, it was not well written, but what does she care? She's she, she yeah. I, I wouldn't care if I in her. She had three different editions for you know three. Uh, different my mom kept making me buy that book. She goes, "Oh, it's terrible. Can I get the second one? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's horrible. Can I get the third one?" <laughs> So, well, I have to look forward to seeing what you write next because. Well, I, it may be, you may not be able to find it because it may be under a pseudonym. Ah, uh, <laughs> probably a good idea, you know, because you, you'll, were you Jay? Wasn't there a book by Jay in the day? I, yeah, I think there was a book by Jay. I, remember. <laughs> I think so. Do you but remember I, that well because you wrote it? <laughs> no, because I usually write very straight laced informational yeah i do too non-fiction yeah. kinds of things that people could just we need to write a screenplay play. i want to write a screen but see you'd want to write the 50 shades of gray and i'd want to have die hard or something you know <laughs> <laughs> that's true i i want to i want to write something that's romance and relationship maybe if i take you on enough hikes you're going to want to write die hard if i make you into all this outdoorsy crazy stuff. Let me tell you, if not for uh Bob giving me that stick, yeah. He's using the stick to get me up one step <laughs> after another step. But it was so good. It was so wonderful. I felt so happy. That's I was great. so thrilled. And then I didn't hear from you afterwards. I thought maybe maybe I died on the hike. No, I was fine. I it was it was a really fun trip, and uh, it was so my fun. little Luna liked it, and she Luna loved it. Luna loved it, and uh, she's about to, to say something on our show because I think <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking of participating today. Luna's one of these up here behind me. I know. Labrador, she's so cute. I, in the in the car, I was just petting her velvety ear. Oh, that ear! <laughs> oh my god, she is so velvety. But she is growing by leaps and bounds. She, the the little doggy that you held up in that cover photo of you on the front cover of uh, Paradise Valley magazine, mm -hmm. that will never happen again. No. This is not a little. I can't pick her up. <laughs> I could not lift her. She, she is all muscle. Yes. This doggy is all muscle. She's not fat. She's no. just pure She's muscle. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good hiker. 